from now on till the end of time We'll stay in your kitchen and talk shite uh, New setting, uh, Nathan's gone bald and, yeah. uh, better looking. Done better looking. Sorry, yeah. No yeah. Well, I've uh, yeah pulled the uh, switchblade from between my shoulder blades because <laughs> he decided he wants to advance in life. Mm-hmm. So, so, I in. <laughs> so I found someone who's already at rock bottom. Can't can't possibly stoop any lower. And here we are. In such a way, Sunday's day. <laughs> uh, well, that's every day, isn't it? Yes, it is. So yeah. Speaking of uh, of of which, um, that's a good segue. Isn't it? Oh, glorious! Yeah, that was profess. That was just like the fellow on EastEnders we just watched. Oh, and Truman, I don't want you, are you, baby? <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, what's she called? The uh, fucking Cat. yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't want you anymore. Reaction. <laughs> His best one ever was when um, a new scene Zoe mm. and. Uh, the, the 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 family disapprove of the wet of the uh, you know Union. relationship. Yeah. She's she's eighteen. He's thirty two, <laughs> and a doctor. Um, and uh, so they, they discover that they're going to plant drugs on him. Get they, get across the famous <laughs> Scottish border. Patrol. Fritz at Carlisle. Oh, watch that fucking M1 when you get up there. <laughs> Gates now. Gates said Pat now. It's on the way. <laughs> Gates said Pat now. Oh, the Be- the Berwick boot boys are fucking doing you in there. So he's... Uh, <laughs> they pass Big Mo down. He's got a big bag of, like, very clearly pills in a see-through bag. Like 250 or something. Hmm. So Zoe, the eighteen-year-old, has it in her hand, and she goes, "I just don't get it. What are they?" <laughs> and she gives it Anthony, who's a doctor. <laughs> he stares at them intently, and he goes, "And you know this is <laughs> this is going to be the crown and glory because we're twenty-eight minutes into a twenty-nine. Ah, <laughs> you know it's coming. But you know it's coming. Hang on, hang on. It's it's our fate. There's going to be fucking something happening." You're showing far too much emotional depth. For this These are drugs. Illegal drugs. <laughs> I've got the clip of it both. Put it in. I'll edit it in. We'll edit it in. I'll find it and edit it. Yeah. It's fucking super. <laughs> well, well, on that topic, um, the first one this week comes from uh, Jake Patton. Um, friend of the show. Friend of the show. Um uh, no, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but the, I don't... Have met him. <laughs> you have met him, I think. Oh, man. Yeah, possibly. Got him on Facebook. Yeah, exactly. Um, don't say that now. There'll, have, uh, there'll be plenty of people. They'll be, they'll be clamouring at the gates to uh, get into your personal. Yeah. Pickering. Uh, lay off. <laughs> <laughs> no. oh, Pickering's can, welcome. You can lay off. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, oh, yeah, so the first one was I uh, don't know where it came from. It was a Jake Patton one. It was a uh, Jimmy Savile and the Munich Air disaster. <laughs> uh, I think it was some form. Oh. <laughs> this is a uh, yeah. This is uh, this is getting brought. This is your Holly Willoughby moment. This. That's yeah. fucking objective <laughs> fancy dress ideas. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, yeah. Oh, funny. So. Um, also, uh, my lists of the week. That's a great thing as well. It's good because we we talk about band name theorem. <laughs> All right, Pythagoras. Fucking hell. <laughs> but um, uh, a good one to do is Anther. Oh yeah. Oh oh oh. oh, oh. Is, is well, you get me. You get, that's uh, that's the finest one of yours. I think one of my favourites on the list is a uh, coupon buster <laughs> and the early kickoff. Fucking superb. The that, t- okay. Lead singer does legally have to change his name to Buster, though. That's yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the origin of that is fairly obvious. <laughs> Never back the as well. Back a few cards, though. Uh, yeah. Back it, but in full realisation. <laughs> the good thing is about an hour talking. 
the good thing about an half twelve kickoff is you've done your bollocks, but before full time, team news is out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 85 minutes going, oh, there's not much chance of four <laughs> All I'm thinking is cash against Greenwich. <laughs> 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 oh, Junior Furbo not got booked. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh. Yeah, and then the. Uh, yeah, and there's never. I'll, I'll sit in frame, shall I? As Ronnie O'Sullivan once said. Just <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> <Do> stop oil. <laughs> I'm disrupting the frame. <laughs> I just stop oil. Get your hair dye out. <laughs> 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 Some <lots of> <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny. Just stop oil to stop this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> what point are you making? <laughs> Some yeah, <laughs> some specky cut times onto me radiate like Teddy weight. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Oh, yeah, it's like a Lebanese fucking restaurant. I'm gonna stay here for twelve years. Can I have a falafel? Oh, I'll go um. I'll uh, forego my list of the weeks up to this point and get to the uh, other ones that you've. That are you? Uh, so I, I've been, I've been in uh, a list contributor for about three. Four no, you've, no, you've been, you've been all the way. Through. I found one of yours in the, uh, which we'll, which we'll get to. In the first, there were one of yours in the first ums, I think. It's a massive part of life. Mm. Uh, yes. Anyway, um, so yeah, the one that one one that you came up with yesterday, which was it's not by for by far not your best effort, but it was uh, was funny enough for me to write down uh, because it meant I didn't have to go scroll back to do more preparation. Uh, which was Pensioners Airport. Pensioners Airport, yeah. Um, <laughs> a lot of my list comes from my, uh, when I've got the weight of the world on my shoulders, so I blame you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, receive a text, oh, oh, stuck in traffic with Daniel. Right, This how can, how is this my fault? Why, why are you in charge of the light filter in Openshaw? Fuck off. <laughs> um, you need someone to play an emotional punch back. <laughs> Um, the prevention of an aneurysm. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. yeah, I was just in the post office queue. It was so fucking taking ages. And what I've noticed about post office queues, I mean, this sounds like a very bad observation. I'm trying to do that. Like, so, guys. So, I get the bones on. <laughs> uh, none of that. Air, airplane food. Yeah. Hey, come on. Uh, <laughs> what, I've no, what I've noticed is people get unduly anxious. Do you know what I mean? Like it's a fucking let. It's they go into sort. I'll, I'll go post office and sort it out. Mm. And they're like, they're so panicking. They, they need to double check everything. Mm. Like doesn't need double checking. But like, that's that receipt, <laughs> right? I'll put that in a laminated folder. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like emergency padlock in a receipt. <laughs> <laughs> fucking recorded delivery. <laughs> <that> <laughs> Asking unnecessary <clears throat> questions and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, right. Just so. winds it up. And it's baking hot. Running late to get a train to do a hot water green room podcast available on all good uh, platforms. Yeah. Um, and just <laughs> run, running late and people holding yeah. you up and just ruining your life. And the where well, the pensioners airport came in is because they're all pensioners in the post office, obviously, um, because fucking COVID was a lie. <laughs> 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 Lambert nine. <laughs> the Southampton days, he was nine. I'm sure he was. Um, yeah, so you've got to think of Southampton, Jay. It's still available tickets on the. Uh, I'm so, guessing. Um, anyway, that went. That went well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, so, I'm sorry. Yeah. So it's full of pensions, obviously. Um, and the only place where people get unduly anxious is the airport. It's recently been on holiday. Mm. And just... And it fucking turned into Anthony Bourdain. It's... It's been on one ride air flight. It's... <laughs> Anthony Bourdain. Fucking <laughs> 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 travel. Shite. Um, uh, as John Fury once said. It was meant to travel with the old wings. Um, and it's just, it's just a... Fuck it, it's the worst of human nature, people. So, 
No, yeah. Just, like me. Yeah. Just the fucking selfishness of like, I need to get through, I need to get through, we all need to get through. Just fucking relax a minute. You know what I mean? <laughs> fucking winds me up. And uh, that's similar to the post office, that's where a coin pension is at. But there you go, there we go. Um, not intended for the list. You can't go in intended things to the list. You no, yeah, it's always bad. When you mention the list, people yeah. say like, <laughs> door handles and the Swiss lot. <laughs> yeah. Idiot. Oh, there's, uh, there's some bad ones. Do you all do send them in though, in the comments. Yeah, and can't, uh, can't yeah. Force it. No, don't force it. Let it let it come naturally to. You. Um, but the uh, oh, that was uh, they reminded me. You saying about how annoyed it's looking like minor difficulties are. Right? It reminds me of the uh, <laughs> me, the when me, my dad run the football team, which is why I got a game. It's no, it's actually quite good. The uh, Patrick Vieira of Berry. Some some d- dubbed me me mum. <laughs> the uh, uh, but yeah. So the, on the on the badge, right? He did. He made it, and he could tell he was dead proud of it. And um, it, it's it, he'd put the badge like he'd done a badge and then put a little motto in Latin. Yeah, uh, no, no. Uh, super amorous, right? And it means overcome all difficulties. First person, and this the first person like with a lad with a phone went. This says overcome all delays. <laughs> Oh, so that was that was translated good. Latin because it's an angle for Oh yeah. Oh, actually, well, um, you could have this one. This could potentially be in Latin, and this was in a uh, this was in uh, Barcelona uh, of our of your other holiday that you've been on in the last thirty two years, um, where you said uh, where you said because uh, it was not there obviously. You said fuck me, Jesus, the chafing thighs, <laughs> and I went oh, put an hand in that. <laughs> Fuck me, Jesus, and the chafing thing. There you go. Uh, there was also several of the uh, talking of minor delays and annoyance of um, that went on your Napoli one on your Napoli order. Uh, you you whinged at length to me about <laughs> Canadians doing your head in. Fucking hell! What is it with them? <laughs> Do you, just cut that. Out. <laughs> cut that little bit. Put it in fucking. Fuck that's GB. It. That's your GB news show reel there. That's why they're the happiest nation on earth. If they, can... they? <laughs> yeah, of course they are. It's all fucking moose and syrup, <laughs> That's why they've got no fuck all to worry about. People got real fucking worries going up. Do like a nineteen-hour fucking tour of Pompeii. Um, we get it. Get over it. <laughs> um, and it's an informative tour, but you, by the end of the tour, you're always fucked, aren't you? It's like a yeah. two-hour walk on a fucking set. Um, and at the end, they're fucking asking questions. Like, you've just been told all that needs to be yeah. fucking said. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, um, one more point. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what was their day-to-day life? Would they go to the shops in the morning, hey? <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah, they go, to, they go to fucking Asda. Yeah, I've got his fucking to-do list there, lad. <laughs> fucking ruins. Shut up. Canadians on walking tours. Avoid. <laughs> but there was a... So from it, from it at least, though, came Inquisitive Canadians and Quebecois Questionnaire. <laughs> so it's double Q. It's quite good. Speaking of Ricky Lambert, double Q. Oh, yeah. So then they also had, on the uh, on the old Jamie H Comedy Instagram, was uh, Excited Orphans. Yeah. Sunken Sunglasses. The Wilted Pensioners. Again, pensioner theme. Bemused Germans and my personal favourite, um, because you were in Italy and you said, "Excuse me, sir, bon- bonjour, servetta." <laughs> bonjour, servetta. <laughs> I was being a British lout um, to embarrass my girlfriend and amused myself. <laughs> right, it's always good. It's always good. Um, oh yes, yeah, so my, my, uh, my list of the week that I didn't get to. Uh, we had a friend of the show, James Allen. Oh, I was at his. Ooh. I was at his. Uh, I was at their night on Tuesday, shipping forecast, all that, Caper, Liverpool, oh yeah. Um, so, and he introduced himself as he, when he got on, sh- on stage as captain of the good ship camaraderie. <laughs> <laughs> That's three words, just good ship together. I thought it was quite nice. Um, then there was a rare, I saw this on a bin at uh, Berry Interchange. Very good fodder for my Bins, yeah. Uh, it's just the backdrop of 
<laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just the, uh, the overall ambiance. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, <I feel>. <laughs> that's probably some lounge yeah. <laughs> that, that's, what, that's what's inspired the Arctic Monkeys last yeah. shit three albums. Right? <laughs> the, the very ambient bins. <laughs> ambient bin bag. <laughs> Shite. Oh, <laughs> this is good. Let's do this. Yeah. Um, but, change genre. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there was uh, the band was Crush Zone. And uh, for, uh, very, very rarely, first two album names were on the list. Do Not Enter. And then Danger of Death. Yeah, from a bin. Yeah. Killed by the bins. It's right. not what you want, Can is it? That be playing in a CX workshop. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I think that'll probably, that'll, that'll, this'll do this one, I think, because we've got another one. And I can, uh, Jamie's only got a certain amount of time I can. Uh, I can't be arsed, yeah. So. Um, my time is precious, just 17 minutes. Yeah, so. Well, Including edits, probably yeah, 15. Probably 15. Uh, but yeah, that'll do, because I've got uh, a load more. Uh, oh, actually, very quickly. Uh, now I've done that and everyone's gone. Uh, there's more. Um, good friend uh, friend of the show again, Alex Marrow. Oh, uh, I wasn't uh, that. Uh, g- g- uh, played, for, played for Palace and Blackburn in his time. And uh, he only got one assist in his career, and it was against Middlesbrough at the Riverside. I found out a game I was at. That was before I knew him. Um, so, uh, he, this is an old one from the archives, but uh, he once described a couple of women as uh, one as the Princess of Rochdale, and then said, Oh, a mate was all right, minus the face. <laughs> <laughs> so, there you go. Uh, Princess of Rochdale, followed by, uh, supported by minus the face. Yeah. I'd, uh, what my most favourite catchphrase is a good album, and it's a good Edinburgh show title as well. Oh, yeah. Oi, soft bollocks. <laughs> oh, said to uh, oh, oh, oh the, 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 do you remember the one in uh, in uh, Gay Village in town when um, numerous ones in the game. well, there was numerous ones there, but the uh, my fa- personal favorite is I went to go get us around, you were in the bog, I'd gone to get us around it. I came back, and there's a fella, everything was calm, came back to a fella off going like this, being held back by six of his mates because. He had like a, a Thai wife. And, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I came back, what the fuck's gone on here? I don't, uh, what have you done? I didn't do anything. And then I heard him say, he said I fucking bought my wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, that was glorious. <laughs> He's just said an eye, went, right, well, I'm off for a fight. So. <laughs> 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 What a man, what a man. Uh, yeah. So, I, um, oh, we didn't do the real band shout out for this week. I've uh, written down Vulture Authority. Won't listen to them. Because, uh, no, uh, for the sake of giving other people things, fucking, you know, like, you're like a good guys. communist. I've already done them. Oh, Glass guys on episode seven. I'll do them again because John's producing the things. John is a good boy. Sorry, John Riley. Glass guys are at tram lines. Very good man. On, on the Sunday, the 23rd of July. I've seen them live. I don't know. I need to see them as well. I will do. Yeah. But we have just about eight, 20 minutes there, because I just don't edit anything. Yes. Pulis, Bob. <laughs> In the corner. You've got Pulis anecdotes. <laughs> you don't think we'll throw fucking Ricardo on. <laughs> Ricardo. 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 It's a good boy. Good boy. <laughs> oh, you're bad. <laughs> Fuck off. Anyway, if you do donate to Under the Cost, donate to us on Patreon instead because this is better. Pop out the screen room, jimhedgecom.com. Yeah. See you next week. Yeah.